creation of the Aztec Empire. So the Aztec Empire is what you see all in green right here. It is located in what we know today as Mexico. And right here is the capital of the Aztec Empire. Um, so the origins of the Aztec people are unknown, but they were believed to be tribe hunters. And they settled in this area because they saw an eagle perched on a tree and they took it as a symbol of strength and decided to settle there. And they started as a nomadic tribe in Mexico. Uh, they arrived in Mesoamerica in the 13th century and they ruled that empire from the 14th to the 16th century. The food they ate was mostly maize, squash, and beans, and they hunted around, as you can see, there's ocean all around here, and they hunted fish and other wildlife. And unfortunately, their reign came to an end in the 16th century because an invader by the name of Hernan Cortes captured and overthrew the Aztec Empire. Okay. So now a little about the counting system. Um, as Jess will explain later on, they counted in 20s, not 10s. So it would go 20, 40, 60, not 10, 30, 40, or put a 20 in there somewhere as well. And they, for numbers one through nine, and also 10 in this case, they use dots. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, and 10 were all used as dots. And a 10 can either be represented as dots, a diamond, as we do in Jess's presentation, or a line. And the Aztec counting system had no zero and the 20 was represented as a flag, as we will do in our presentation, or a shell. Counting system continued. Um, the Aztecs got the counting system actually from the Egyptians. Um, the Egyptians influenced their counting system, and so that's what they used. And so as you can see, um, 8,000 was represented by several different uh, symbols. So we have a pouch or a bag, and then we have a bird or a feather hat. And in our presentation, we'll be using a pouch as similar to this one, so, or a shield as it also is called. <clears throat> now the Aztec calendar is on a 260 day calendar, unlike ours, which is 365 days. And it was actually broken up into 20 days a cycle. And so each day is represented by a different object. And so the objects here are listed, uh, there are 20 objects here. And so you have the crocodile, wind, house, lizard, snake, death, deer, rabbit, water, dog, monkey, grass, reed, jaguar, eagle, vulture, motion, flint, rain, or flower. And so that is their calendar and their 20-day system. And now that the history is done, we'll be moving on to Jess, who will be explaining and giving you examples of the counting system. Thank you.
Okay, so the next number that we're going to do is 1855. I was told to pick a number that is significant to us, to everybody. So um, this is the year that Millersville University was founded slash created in. So come on, guys. I'll give you another solid minute to try this out. Okay, so this one's a little difficult because there's no number, no um, symbol for a thousand. So you have to break a thousand down. Um, we broke it into four four hundreds, which if you add that up is sixteen hundred. Plus two hundred gets you eighteen hundred. So you just have to make the fifty-five left. And twenty plus twenty plus ten is fifty. Plus the five, the five dots. Um, it's also important to say that this counting system is very flawed because it's really hard to write some numbers and the higher the numbers get it would just be more it wouldn't be worth writing the number so yes and thank you for watching our presentation brought to you by Jess and Elizabeth and have a great day bye